morning, loved ones. I hope you had a good night's sleep. I did not sleep much this night because I had a little baby that was angry and did not sleep so well in the other room. And um, yeah, <laughs> I didn't get to sleep much, but it's, it's so worth it. I, you know, just seeing them smile in the mornings is like worth all that crying and all that lack of sleep. I'm very much longing to have a baby on my own. <laughs> Maybe one day. <laughs> now I'm having a dog soon. Two more days, I can't wait. Um, hopefully in 48 hours I'll have her here with me. I am, yeah, I'm so excited to have her home. Um, so what we are, uh, we're gonna do a, a bit of uh, yoga. <laughs> Because I think that's what I do. <laughs> I'm so like I've been driving for three hours, and then I was looking at um, at the, a van that I might rent, and uh, um, I'm just like it's so freaking hot here, so I get like dizzy in my head, but I think it's okay. Um, mom, 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 mom. I'm grateful today. I'm grateful for the amazing time spent in Dalarna at my friend's house uh, with her son and her. Uh, she and I used to be nannies together in Switzerland and um, and she's amazing. Uh, and so is her son that I'm about to meet for the first time. Uh, also, I'm grateful for uh, all the opportunities that are opening up. It feels like uh, the world is at my feet. and. So I just need to kind of focus on which angle I want to go towards. Uh, I'm also very grateful for um, something else. <laughs> uh, I'm grateful for where I am at right now. I feel like I'm much more at peace. I'm starting to feel happiness again. I was so, so sad for such a long time, but I feel like I, I'm like life is returning, you know, like I want to, uh, go on my paddleboard, you know, tonight with a friend in the sunset and I feel like I want to do things again. Before I just wanted to cry, I was just so sad. And uh, I feel like that's kind of one of the things that I want to speak a lot about because I feel that we very often don't give ourselves time to grief. Like I was in a relationship with a guy that I thought I was going to get married to and have a family with and, and like over a night almost or like maybe just a few weeks of of you know a little bit of lack of, of communication and he just turned you know and um, and it left me in so much pain and you know this lack of, of that dream and of course you know you have to grieve that if you don't you're gonna be shut up for the rest of your life or that's gonna stay there and it's gonna destroy for you in the next relationship like I feel like it's so important to grieve and I feel like we're never allowed to. Like every time someone is crying, you say like, oh, don't cry, cry, cry as much as you can. Because I just felt like eventually I was like, I have no more tears. Like I'm, I'm out of them. I can't cry anymore. I'm over it. Like I just cannot cry anymore. And, um, and that's where I am. <laughs> so then I'm like, what am I gonna do with all those emotions? You know, I'm gonna have fun with that gonna enjoy my life I have this amazing life uh, and you know uh, it doesn't matter if I share it with you know a lover or friends or family I have so many amazing people in my life like I mean I have so many people to share that with and yeah it just gives me clarity and I'm very grateful for that get down on your sitting bones straighten your back up close your eyes and focus on the area between your eyebrows the third eye looking in front We're going to start taking control over our breath. On the inhalation, feel how your belly is expanding. On the exhalation, drag your belly up and towards the spine. Inhale. Exhale. 
beautiful we're gonna come back to this breathing eventually but first we're gonna do the breath of fire we do that by pushing our belly button towards the spine quick fast inhale to start Beautiful. Now we're gonna do the hip row. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Mm. Inhale. Exhale back. Switch We're gonna place our legs as close to our body as possible and we're gonna lay our arms alongside our body on the next English and come up and fold your hands here on your knees. straight up in the air we're going to place our right foot on our left knee and guess what we're going to come up in half bridge like this place your arms alongside your body place your feet and on the inhalation come up work here and then open up your hip it's just reading comments the, like yesterday or yes or today and there was like one dude who commented that my ass was so fat and it's almost like, I mean, it's like sad, but also laughable because first of all, it's not. <laughs> Second of all, why does he think he has the right to think so? Maybe that's his opinion. doesn't mean that's truth, you know? Third of all, imagine how many young girls, you know, that, that people like him write that to, that get anorexia. Like it just... It just upsets me so much that people think that they can express their own opinion in that awful way. Like for me, I'm cool with it because I'm like 38 years old and I don't give a shit. But imagine if I was like 16, I would have died and I wouldn't have eaten in like a few weeks. So if you're one of those bullies, just don't do anything like that. Just wake your own ass out instead. Pisses me off. Place your arms alongside your body. Inhale, come up. We're doing this the other side. And if you don't like my ass, don't watch. Fucking easy. the right. 
died, you know? It upsets me. And then I'm thinking of my nieces that are 13 and, you know, 10, and they're gonna grow up. I was really insecure when I was young. Straighten up. Like, sit, come down. Just straighten up your back. So, yeah. Any awful dude out there, it might be girls too, just keep your opinions to yourself. No one gives a shit. <laughs> straighten up. And to the rest of you, I love you very much. <laughs> to everyone who's giving me love, I love you very, very much back. yourself you're fantastic and amazing just the way you are and this is what we're learning through yoga you know the way we are created is like perfection like you should never try to look like me you should try to be you like we should all try to be the best of ourselves <sighs> it's so sad that we get imprinted with like you know visions of photoshopped people all the time so we think that's that's reality. It's nothing like that. I've been shooting with Victoria's Secret models. They have cellulites. They're beautiful, you know, obviously, but they don't look like they do in the photos. I think it's, yeah, sad that people think that's reality. Get down on your sitting bones. Close your eyes. Take a deep inhalation. Breathe out through your mouth. Focus your eyes on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye of the inner ribs. And let this eye lead you to the area around your heart. In this area, you find an inner room where you're going to spend some time just for yourself. There is nothing that has been and nothing that will come. It's only you in this moment. your forehead with the same good thoughts of through the day to your mouth for you to speak the truth and to your heart for you to be kind to yourself and to other people and remember that you know be kind to yourself and to other people you are perfect the way you are and also give that to others you know we all have something very very unique to give focus on what you can give let's not be jealous and mean to each other let's love each other i love you i'll see you tomorrow bye